Hey, how's it going? Um, we're going to be working on in this video making a summary table of the linear data that we collected. The data that I'm using here is going to be the um, candle data for the burn length of the candles and the burn time. But if you have anything that has, if you have any data that has linear relationships that you'd like to collapse these groups with four trials into some mean plus a standard deviation so that you can have a data point with error bars and then you can fit the line. Um, these method, this method will work. So the point is we're going to get um, the means of the length and the means of the burn time for each group so that we can have one data point um, like an X and a Y. And we're going to take the standard deviations of these to get the error bars um, so that we can graph points with error bars and we can try to fit a linear line to it. And for, for this candle lab, we're going to come out with a burn rate. But for any other lab, we come out with some slope that's useful. So this here is my table full of raw data. And I want to make a summary table. Um, so I'm going to have that on a new sheet. So I'm going to add a new sheet by clicking this plus down here. Um, to add one. So I have sheet one and sheet two. Sheet one has my raw data. Sheet two is where I'm going to put the summary table. So I'm going to call them that. Um, if you double click on sheet, it'll let you change the name. So I'm going to call this one raw data. And sheet two, I'm going to call summary. Oops. Awesome. So my summary data, I'm going to take all my um, 16 trials here, and I'm going to basically condense them into four trials. So um, we're going to have, you'll see in a second why I'm starting on the second cell, column A. But we're going to have a group. So then we can have each of our groups. So we'll have um, B three quarter length blue. Nice. All right, I'm going to copy that for all these. So now I have all my groups. Um, I want to have a column for mean burn length, a column for standard deviation on burn length, a column for mean burn time, and a column for standard deviation burn time. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, have this overarching label up here tell us what value we're looking at. So I'll write burn length and it's in millimeters. Awesome. So then I can have a mean here and a standard deviation. Awesome. And then over here, I'll have burn time. And that's in seconds. And then I can do the same. Actually, I can just copy and paste these two. Copy. Awesome. Um, we want this thing to look good. Something that we learned how to do with our raw data table over here was that when we had a group name that would cover four rows, we merged the cells. So now we have um, these labels. You can't really see. Let me show you. Um, that don't. These labels are going to refer to these two columns that are underneath. So we can merge the cells the same way we did last time. So we highlight them, format, merge cells, merge all. Same thing with this. Now, as long as you highlight the cells, only the cells that you want to merge, you can always click merge all. Um, if say, let's, let's see, if we 
highlight these four cells. See how they go horizontally and vertically. And we go to merge. We can merge them horizontally, vertically, or all into one big cell. So if we more merged horizontally, we'd get these two cells. Anyway. Um, so the point is we can just use merge all. That's the one that we've been using. Um, if you want to do more intense things with Excel, you can. That's kind of the point. Anyway, so these labels are talking about both um, headers underneath. So we're going to align them center. And just the way we did in the raw data table, we have everything aligned right, um, except for the first column. So we're going to do that too. I'm going to let these ones be. So the only reason why these headers aren't aligned right is because I want them to be centered for mean and standard deviation so that we know what mean we're talking about and what standard deviation we're talking about. Um, let's compare again to the raw data table. We have bold headers so that you can easily tell what the headers are. Um, and we have these borders that cut up each trial. Since we only have four lines here, um, we don't really need the line, and because they're each respectively just some row instead of a merged group of four rows, we don't need to put the borders. Um, instead of making this whole top bit bold, let's just add a border down here. Awesome. So now we have our headers um, comfortably separated from where our data is going to go. So now the last part is just finishing this up, putting all the values in. And we can use the same functions we always do. We don't have to calculate anything ourselves. So we can do equals average. And now we have to highlight the cells that we're taking the average of, and we can't see them. But we can go over to our raw data table and we can just highlight them here. And we click enter and there's our mean. So it's easy. We do it the same way we've been doing average and we'll do standard deviation the same way we have been. Oh, equals, sorry. And remember, um, we're doing a sample as always and it's on the same data. Great. So we're just doing mean standard deviation the same way that we always do. We have to go to another sheet to get at our data, but honestly, that's easy enough. So let's go through and finish these up. Now, something to note here is that it's important we can't drag our formulas down. Um, if we look at this one I'm on now, C4, um, we see that we have a, from the raw data sheet, D6 to D9. So if I bring this down one, it only increments D7 to D10, it doesn't go up by four, it goes up by one. And because the data we have is incremented by four whole um, trials, we can't drag the formulas down. We have to click back and forth to do each one. So standard deviation, oops. All right, two more to go on burn length.
great. So, I won't bore you by going through burn time too. I'll just knock these out and the video will jump right to it. Awesome. Now my data table is nice and full. These, it's, <laughs> looking at our numbers, we got a lot of decimal places on these standard deviations. Um, I'm going to bring it down, these two buttons, increase decimal places, decrease decimal places. I'm going to bring these guys down a touch to two decimal places. And I might as well. Awesome. All right, everything's set to two decimal places. Um, we have our burn lengths, our burn times, and they're in here comfortably. Um, our numbers are on aligned right, and our words are aligned left. Um, it's easy to read. This comes out well. So this is the kind of data table that we want to see for our summary data. From here, we'll be able to plot using um, these two columns for our x's and y's and these two columns for our error bars. We'll be able to plot and we can exp extract our line and find our burn rate. Or if we're looking at a different relationship between two different um, pieces of data, then we, we can find the slope and use it to find whatever we want to. Anyway, that's been the video on creating a summary table for the linear data lab. And this will conclude the video.